Hey everybody, this is Chris with Kerbal Space Program Point Two Three Career Mode. Now, this is a rocket that I built to go specifically to the moon, orbit, and come back, and that is what we did. Now, uh, I have installed Deadly Reentry on this since, uh, well, for, for this video and, and future videos. Um, so, with those uh, goo containers on the capsule, it doesn't really work that well. And the reason is that they overheat very quickly and they explode. So uh, even though I did take this out to the moon, I really only came back with crew reports and EVA stuff. So it wasn't a very uh, successful mission. It, it, you know, I, I consider successful not killing the Kerbals and actually bringing the capsule back to land safely on Kerbin's green grass. But uh, it wasn't really a successful mission as far as science points go. I mean, it, it was okay, and it and it worked. It got me some science, but just not as much as I would have hoped. But I didn't really have a lot of science uh, modules on this, so it was only one goo container. Uh, it wouldn't have brought me back more than probably, uh, geez, I, I think maybe 30 points or something. It wasn't, it wasn't a lot because I, it wasn't landing. And, you know, I did have an antenna. I could have transmitted these back, but I didn't feel like going through the the transmission process because uh, I don't think yeah we don't have solar panels in this yet so whatever we bring for batteries is pretty much what we have and with you know deadly reentry and also tack life support um, when those batteries burn off it could affect the crew cabin but you if that really won't be such a big deal because you'll be landing within like a couple of minutes or something but uh, with the tack life support if you're out in space and you run out of battery uh, you might still be able to move the capsule and stuff, but uh, your Kerbal will actually freeze to death. So what you don't want to do is run out of battery, power, or electric electricity. So here's the launch. Um, you know, nothing special about this. We just get into a circular parking orbit, and then we will uh, get a node put in, and that will bring us to the moon. And we're going to work on a free trajectory system. I believe I did put it into orbit around the moon, but there were some launches that I just kind of went... Uh, put it close and then had the, the return trajectory right near Kerbin. So it was kind of like, you know, you just burn out there and then you come back and land. It wasn't like you needed a lot of fuel. And, you know, I have uh, the Kerbal Flight Engineer going and I also had Mech Jeb's, um, the box on that, uh, the, the command box. But it doesn't do anything in, in career mode except for give you um, Delta V stats right now. Uh, you, you do open up a node that actually makes it more useful like I think you can use the autopilot and stuff like that but uh, I just basically use it for delta V because I don't I can't do the calculator I could do the calculations but I just don't feel like spending the time doing the calculations for what I have for delta V um, it's just it would take away from the fun for me uh, I know it might be an accomplishment for some but for me it's just tedious and uh, I don't bother doing it so here I am, I'm just setting up my return trajectory here. I will have to burn a little bit to get back into Kerbin's uh, atmosphere. But we're going to go a flyby here, and we'll take some science when we're close, and then we'll bring it back to Kerbin. And uh, unfortunately, I lose the goo container upon entering the atmosphere, but uh, I still have the crew reports and the, uh, the AVA report. Now, interestingly enough, I was having an issue with, I, I don't know what, what the problem is, but sometimes when I load uh, Kerbal Space Program, like, the graphics get screwed up and, and the the text gets screwed up. So if you look at my Delta V um, on the nav ball, if you look at the Delta V expenditure uh, report there, whatever you want to call it, just how much delta V you have to spend to do that maneuver node, you can see it's got like, it's all messed up, it's, it's, eh, I don't know what the deal is, but uh, also if you look at my Kerbal in the window on the bottom right, it's, it's like flashing kind of a greenish thing, well, I, I don't know what the deal with that is, but um, I, I had unloaded and, well, I had, you know, saved and then restarted Kerbal Space Program and it still had the same issue so I'm not sure what that was but I've added um, since this video I've added the there's like a texture reduction pack which you know I suggest getting and also um, I added a few other mods and it seems to have gone away I'm not sure what the deal was but um, it seems to have fixed itself so 
here we are. Um, we've got, we're just about going by the moon now, and then we're just going to change our... I think when I, I might have done an EVA or something. I kind of haven't been paying attention. This is all post-commentary. But uh, it sucks when you set up a maneuver node. And then you say, hey, well, you know what? I want to get one more EVA. Well, once you leave the capsule, the maneuver node disappears. So then you have to reset it up after. So that, you know, just keep that in mind. If you took a while to find a, uh, a maneuver node and adjust all the settings to, to what you finally want, and then you decide to do an EVA, you're going to have to do it all over again. So if it was something that was overly critical and complex, then, you know, you, you, you're really doing yourself a disservice. So anyway, I'm um, going around the moon, and uh, you know our Kerbal alarm clock, which is a godsend, tells me that I need to start burning now, and I do that, and we get our return trajectory to the Kerbin atmosphere. And with deadly reentry, you want to kind of enter around 20 kilometers or so, uh, 20 to 30. You really start hitting the atmosphere hard, and it starts shock heating around 38 kilometers or so but between 40 and 35 and that's where the, the the things start exploding so if you if you do i i suggest getting deadly reentry. it's a lot of fun uh to try to design things that won't e explode in the atmosphere and it gives it that a little bit more of a challenge also attack life support is really fun because it makes you have to plan uh accordingly and and you'll, if you come back and check out some other videos, there was a moon landing and rescue that needed to be done, uh, but I couldn't at the time, so I just sent another capsule with life support. So when the life support ran out on the first capsule, I can move this Kerbal over to the second capsule. Well, I also had a uh, Kerbal attachment system installed, and I never used it, and I've, I've had it installed on multiple versions of the game back in since like .20, never used it never even like considered looking at how to use it so i, I opened up a tech node that had the the pipe transfer system and uh i decided okay let me sp send a lander with another kerbal down to the moon and we'll set up a kind of moon base until we can get something out there to, to pick them both up or pick one of them up because the capsules were kind of one of them fell over but yeah so um to stay tuned for those i've actually got them semi edited before i did this for some reason i don't know um but that'll be interesting so uh, all right we're returning back now and we're just coming in getting ready to do our atmosphere uh entry or deadly re-entry if you will and i mean it's pretty standard not much else to talk about except that you know i will lose some parts in the atmosphere I have sped this up a little bit just to kind of get through it. Um, you know, obviously landing on Kerbin is something that you guys really probably don't care to see, although it does make it a little bit more interesting when you have parts start to explode. So uh, cool thing there, um, well, actually it was kind of messed up, is I had the staging messed up. So what happened was I ch ditched the... There, there is actually a ablative shield on the bottom of the capsule, so it wasn't a critical that I had it, but the pieces that I wanted to save didn't get saved. So with the deadly reentry, you have to be very concerned with how you enter the atmosphere, what angle you do, and, and stuff like that. But you also want to make sure that the heat shield doesn't get staged incorrectly, and uh, that's one way to burn up parachutes. It's another way to lose experiments. And as you saw, when we disconnected our destaged de our... Uh, our parts that you can see that the tanks they went further and they exploded uh, in the atmosphere because they were getting overheated which is kind of a cool uh, effect so I <laughs> I like it I like seeing things blow up as long as maybe you know, I, I try not to kill my kerbals but uh, sometimes it does happen and uh, here's the science screen and you can see the experiments that we've done and what we've uh, opened up and what we can experiment more and I think that's really a cool addition that point two three brought out was this uh, this science achievement list well that's it for this video so uh, please like subscribe comment and check back for more videos thanks